Hey kids, Tavi Rider here with more Minecraft science, this time on the topic of ticks. Ticks are how Minecraft keeps track of the timing of events in the game, and it's useful to understand them when working with redstone. Now this can be a very confusing topic. I asked my followers on Twitter and Google Plus how they define a tick, and I got many very different answers, and to be honest, most of them were wrong. So it's definitely a confusing topic. By the way, if you want to be involved in conversations like that, just search for Tavi Rider on Twitter or Google+. Join the conversation. You'll also hear about things that I'm working on for upcoming videos. So, uh, what is a tick? I'm going to use this simple loop here as an example to uh, demonstrate why ticks exist and how they work. Um, so this is just five inverters in a row. Uh, each one of them inverts the signal, and because there's an odd number of them, it never settles down. You just get this pulsing pattern, in other words, a clock. Now, let's consider what happens when a player places a torch. Now, I can't stop the game. I can't freeze frame it, but we're going to have to sort of imagine what happens when the player places a torch here. And let's imagine that uh, redstone torches update instantly. So let's follow around what happens. The player places the torch, and the game looks for blocks around this that are that will react to that torch and it finds redstone so okay this redstone is now powered and this is powered this is powered and all this is happening instantly it passes the signal along to here now this block is po is powered which means that the redstone torch which was on here turns off and that unpowers this redstone this turns off now this redstone torch can turn on and it goes on and on like that actually it goes on off on off on but now this torch that we just placed is getting power to the block that it's on so this torch has to turn off so now while this redstone is off this torch turns on so this is on this is off this is on this is off now and it's now time to light this torch again we basically have an infinite loop so what might happen if you have an infinite loop well maybe the game crashes it hangs it stops responding because it's stuck just updating this loop forever and ever or maybe all of the torches burn out instantly. That's not a very satisfying thing because something like this clock is a very useful construction to have in Minecraft. So Notch, in his wisdom, used a tick system and made it so that torches take a little while to react to a change in their signal. So let's describe what actually happens in Minecraft. You place this torch and instantly all of this redstone becomes powered. And then the power reaches this block, and it says, okay, I have a powered torch on a powered block. We need to fix that, but we're going to do that next tick. Now, the tick is this short interval of time. It's like this heartbeat, and every time the heart beats, it updates all of the redstone torches that need updating. So when the power came in, it didn't turn off the torch immediately. It said, next tick, turn off this torch. And then nothing happened for a little while, a very little while. And then the tick comes along and that's actually by the operating system it tells minecraft when this short interval of time has elapsed and minecraft says okay time to update all the torches in the game that we said need to be updated and it, then it actually turns this one off and it turns off this redstone and this redstone and then it says oh this torch was off and now it's block is unpowered so it's time to turn it off but we'll do that next tick and it schedules this one for update so the same kind of mechanism happens for all the torches and all the redstone repeaters and other things in the game. It schedules them for updating, and then each tick, it updates all the ones that need updating. And that's why you get this nice, smooth, um, synchronized clock like this. So when I understood this about the game, uh, the scientist in me said, well, okay, how long is a tick? I know that some people have uh, looked at the source code for Minecraft, and they have their real answer, but I wanted to find out experimentally. So I put together this experiment here. Uh, you press the button, and it will delay the signal from that for a little bit so we can be prepared, because we're going to be timing this with a stopwatch. And then when it gets to this point, uh, it will play this note block signaling the start of the test, and then it goes over here into this inverter. Uh, it will just... Uh, unpower this torch and this will go off and then this torch will become powered and it passes the signal on down this long line so let's see how long this is and that was 50 inverters on that side and then 50 more inverters on this side okay and 
passed right through the goalpost there. Okay, so the single comes in here, and then when it has passed through all 100 inverters, it'll play another note block. So get your stopwatches ready, and time the difference between the two notes. That's our start. By the way, I'm facing away so that I don't anticipate the signal and press the button too soon. I'm, you know, gamers are trying to anticipate. And there was the stop. Okay. I ran that test three times, averaged the results, and then divided by 100, and I got 0 0.098 seconds. So that is really close to a tenth of a second. A tenth of a second is a nice round number. And I'm going to assume that Notch used a nice round number for his uh, tick interval. Because this is implying that one tick is a tenth of a second. It took a tenth of a second for this torch to react, and same thing for all the other torches around. So let's round this up to a tenth of a second for now. Um, so that's a nice result. Um, and I got nice consistent results when I repeated the test, so that's a good sign. Uh, the next test that I ran was trying to time something else. This is a redstone repeater on its shortest delay. And again, there's 50 of them going out and 50 of them coming back, the same two note blocks. I'm not going to actually run the test here. I'll just give you my results. And it came out at 9.9 .9 seconds on average for the entire loop, or basically a tenth of a second. Now, this is a very good sign. It means that redstone repeaters and redstone torches seem to be using the same tick rate, which makes a lot of sense. The game would update these things at the same time. Um, and then the obvious next test, this is a redstone repeater on its second delay, on its third delay, and then finally on its fourth delay. Any bets what the results are going to be? On its second delay, we got two tenths of a second. On its third delay, three tenths of a second. And fourth delay, four tenths of a second. No surprises at all. But this is, again, good news for considering the uh, tick rate to be a tenth of a second because that means that the torches take one tick which is one tenth of a second to update and then redstones take redstone repeaters take one two three or four ticks to update because it's a nice multiple of a tenth of a second so we have our good results so far so here's where things start getting complicated this is a piston and I have uh, a torch underneath here so when the piston is extended it completes the signal and it goes 50 of these down and 50 of these back so this is designed to test how long it takes for a piston to fully extend and establish a connection between the torch and the redstone after it so um, I'm gonna actually run this test because this one's an important one. Oh, by the way I have it starting out powered uh, so you can see the instant effect when I unpower it watch these and also watch in the distance so these pistons right up in the front, this one and this one, moved at the exact same instant, but it looked like ones in the distance took longer to update, as if the farther away from us it was, the longer it took to update. But the only way that this piston could have moved at the same time as this one is if they both moved at the same time. So we have to keep in mind, Minecraft keeps track of the logical state of things, whether they're powered or not, separately from how it renders them. Uh, this is an optimization to keep your frame rate high. Uh, these all uh, 100 of these pistons moved at the same time, but visually ones that were further away didn't update until a little while later. So you cannot rely on your eyes alone when testing uh, whether contraptions are instant or not because of that effect. It is instant. These two pistons, the only way they could have moved at the same time is if they all changed state at the same time. It's just that it didn't look like it. So rendering is separate from updating. Okay, now back to ticks. How long is it going to take for this to update? Now I'm going to actually run the test here and listen for the two note blocks. Doo -doo -doo. And again, I'm facing away, and I have this delay so that I don't anticipate the start or the stop of this. I ran this test actually more than three times to average the results. And listening for the finish. There it was. Okay. I just got point... Uh, I got about 15 seconds, uh, and averaging that... Or dividing by 100. Uh, and when I averaged all my results, I got... 0.149 seconds. So let's call that 0.15, another nice round number. 
but that's a problem for our understanding of ticks because that's not an even multiple of a tenth of a second. That's three twentieths of a second. So it takes three twentieths of a second for a piston to extend and then establish the connection through a block like this. So we have a couple of possibilities here of what that means. Either that means that pistons are completely special and different from redstone contraptions, or maybe the tick rate in Minecraft is a twentieth of a second. And these update in three ticks and redstone repeaters in eight, six, four, two ticks, and then redstone torches in two ticks. So that would seem to work. Um, so maybe a tick is a twentieth of a second and uh, we have to adjust how we talk about ticks. But before we go that far, there's one other important experiment. I wanted to see how these things interact with each other. So let's look at this one. Uh, we have a redstone repeater and then a piston that extends the same way as in this last test and then that goes through another redstone repeater and piston and repeater and so we have that alternating for a hundred of these. So uh, any bets on how long that'll take? And I'm going to actually run the test because this one's another important one. So listen for the note blocks and there's the start. Now what would you guess it would be? Well the redstone repeater takes a tenth of a second and the redstone uh, and the piston takes uh, three twentieths of a second so it take a total of a quarter second each and there's the finish uh, but so if these are a quarter of a second each that should be 25 seconds but I just got a time of 20 seconds or 0.2 seconds per each of these uh, redstone repeater and pistons but that doesn't make sense we can't just add the the tenth of a second for this to the three twentieths of a second for this uh, because it was faster than that so what's going on okay so here's what I think is really going on in Minecraft um, let's look at this first one and ignore this uh, redstone repeater it's just assume that's powered so the piston starts extending it takes three tenths uh, three twentieths of a second to extend. It goes a third of the way, a third of the way, and then it goes, it finishes extending three twentieths of a second later, and that establishes the connection. Uh, that powers this redstone, which powers this redstone repeater. Now the redstone repeater uh, is scheduled for updating on the next tick, but it's only taking a twentieth of a second to respond. Unlike over there where it was taking a tenth of a second, it's only taking a twentieth of a second to pass the signal on to the next piston. Now why would the redstone repeater do that? Well, that's because redstone has its own tick rate. Uh, redstone torches and redstone repeaters tick every tenth of a second. So they only update on round tenths of a second. Pistons, on the other hand, can update uh, every twentieth of a second. So this one takes uh, three twentieths of a second to update and then that at three twentieths of a second it powers this redstone repeater the redstone repeater waits for the next tenth of a second which comes only a twentieth of a second later so this in this scenario takes a shorter amount of time so to put this all another way redstone repeaters and redstone torches have a redstone tick and then pistons follow a game tick now this is actually backed up by some of the data files. If you look at your world uh, files um, and people who have looked at the source code, the game is in general updating 20 times a second. Uh, things like um, minecarts, when they move, they update their positions 20 times a second. It looks very, very smooth to our eyes, but um, 20 times a second is faster than we can really see all that well for something like this updating its position. So pistons are updating every 20th of a second, and let's call that a game tick. And then redstone repeaters and redstone torches only update every other game tick. So let's call that a redstone tick. And if we consider redstone ticks separate from game ticks, then that explains behavior like what we saw over here. 
it also means that we can use more consistent terminology because some people have been aware of this for a while and they've been saying that redstone repeaters take three or you know take uh, two, four, six, or eight ticks to update, but I think it's more accurate to say it's one, two, three, and four ticks uh, because they can only change state on their output at those round tenth of a second intervals. Okay, so if that was a little too confusing or complicated, let's talk about this in the comments on this video. Uh, I think that this will clarify things, and now, honestly, I have to go through my world of redstone and update all of the clocks and adjust uh, how I use the terminology of a tick to match this understanding of how the game works. So, uh, yeah, please correct me if I'm wrong. This is a complicated topic, but uh, keep an eye on the comments, and thanks for watching.